In order to determine the number of grams of ethylene glycol that must be added to a kilogram of water to produce a solution that freezes at negative 5 degrees Celsius, we first want to consider the change in freezing point equation. It's important to understand that a change in freezing point is equal to the normal freezing point of the pure solvent, which we will identify in just a moment, minus the freezing point of the solution. Now the pure solvent would just be water in this particular problem, and the solution is a mixture of the water plus the ethylene glycol. Now, the temperature at which the pure solvent freezes would be the temperature at which water freezes, and most of us know that the temperature at which water freezes is zero degrees Celsius. Then we will subtract the freezing temperature of the solution. The freezing temperature of the solution was given to be negative 5 degrees Celsius. So we would plug negative 5 degrees Celsius in for the freezing temperature of the solution. When we work this out, we can see that the change in freezing temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the value of delta Tf. Now, k sub f in this formula, that's just a freezing point depression constant, and it can be looked up in a table of values. Let's take a look at that. Now remember, our pure solvent in this problem was water, and we can see that the value of k sub f, the freezing point depression constant for water, is 1.86 degrees Celsius per little m, and little m stands for molality. So we can see that K sub F for water equals 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. And therefore, when we have those two values, we can come over and use the freezing point depression equation to calculate little m. And little m will be the molality, which we will need in a moment. So we're going to plug in for delta Tf the 5 degrees Celsius. And then for Kf, again, it's 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. This is multiplied by the molality. We're going to solve for molality, and to do that we will divide both sides of the equation by 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. They'll cancel out on the right hand side, and on the left hand side when you divide this out you're going to get about 2.69 and the units, if we look carefully, the Celsius will cancel, and that will leave you with molality or molal. So this gives us the molality of our solution. Next, we're going to come over here and look at the equation for molality, which we can paste down here. And molality is simply the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of solvent. Now, we know the molality, we just determined that, and the kilograms of solvent were given to us in the question. Remember, it said one kilogram of water. So the number of kilograms of our solvent would simply be one kilogram. So we'll come down here, we'll plug in the molality of 2.69 little m equals the moles of solute divided by the one kilogram of solvent. Now, this is relatively easy to solve. We just multiply one side by one kilogram and the other side by one kilogram. They'll cancel out on this side, and we can see that the number of moles of our solute is simply 2.69 moles. Now the actual solute in this problem is the substance being mixed with water, and that was the ethylene glycol, C2H6O2. So we can write the formula C2H6O2 down here. So we've got the moles, the only thing that needs to be determined, if we clean the, our workspace here, is the number of grams of ethylene glycol. So this is relatively straightforward because we can easily convert from moles to grams. We take the 2.69 moles of the C2H6O2, and we're going to multiply it by the fact that one mole of C2H6O2 has a certain number of grams. It's known as the molar mass. You could look this up on the periodic table. Roughly speaking, carbon has a molar mass of 12, hydrogen is 1, and oxygen is 16. Now, of course, there's two carbons, so collectively that's 24. The six hydrogens is a total of six, and then two oxygens 
is 32. So if you add those numbers up, 24 plus 6 plus 32, you get a molar mass of 62 grams per one mole of C2H6O2. So when we multiply these out, the moles are going to cancel out, leaving us with just grams. And therefore, the correct answer to the number of grams is approximately 167 grams of C2H6O2.